Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and today I have a playthrough of Final Fight for all of you to watch. And this is going to be a little bit different. This is a playthrough through Johnny and myself. This is something we did, oh my god, I think the timestamp, I think it was like six years ago. Uh, it was a very long time ago. It, it's something I wanted to put up for a while. Uh, it's one of many things, truthfully so. I have a lot of files on my computer, videos, clips. Things that I just never got around to making into full-fledged videos. Some Ryan's unboxing videos, a few other things, some playthroughs. So I figured I wanted to put them out, like this Final Fight, for example. But there's so many playthroughs of Final Fight. How's it going to be any different than just watching any one of those? Unless hopefully the people who watch my channel really want to see a playthrough. Um, so I figured I'd do something a little bit different. Kind of like a little talking over a little podcast form. And... Hopefully be entertained by it. I'm a pretty entertaining, funny guy. This is one of uh, the many playthroughs that Johnny and I have done. And like I said, this is a very, very long time ago. Well, I mean, not long. It's six years ago. It's long in terms of technology. As you can see, I recorded this on my laptop. And if you've watched my previous video about me being back, it's, it's not the best. It's running pretty smoothly. I've tested this video out with my Sony Vegas I can't really render it at six frame or sixty, excuse me, frames per second, so I got to do thirty. So I'm doing the voiceover now, and I'll have the game playing in the background. But um, I, I, we play, we used to play a lot of games online. I don't think he has a laptop now. This is on Fightcade, and this is actually Johnny's first ever playthrough of playing Final Fight. I'm a few years older than Johnny. I know he's a big gamer, not, not like me, but he. He loves gaming as well. In fact, I think when Elden Ring came out, my God, we played for, I think, three, four hours at least a night for six months straight. Uh, but I'm going to talk through the game and kind of help walk Johnny through. I, I, I could have swore we were talking on Discord, but as you see there, I was just trying to get Johnny's attention to pick up the barbecue because this is his first time playing the game. And with a game like Final Fight, I just figure that everyone has played this game. Personally, this is one of my favorite beat-em-ups of all time. The large characters, the smooth graphics. To me, to me, this is one of the best. Two and three never really did it for me. And I know a lot of people who play the Streets of Rage series. I've barely played it. I think I played it a little bit three years ago. It's, I just I was never really a Genesis person. Uh, but I know a lot of them love the Streets of Rage series much more than the Final Fight. Uh, I played it. I think it's great. I didn't play it two or three. Um, I have four. I haven't played that yet. But to me, this is better than Street to Rage. Now, again, I haven't played the game all the way through. and Maybe the other ones are better. But it's it's my personal bias. Because this game came out, what, in 89? And, God, I was like, well, I was like nine, ten years old playing this in the arcade. But this is one of my favorite games. And Johnny and I would play a lot of games on Fightcade. It's free. If you're not familiar with Fightcade, it is a program where you can play games online and play competitively or with friends just have a good time here whenever i played final fight or any video game that has a ninja character i always played the ninja because big martial artist always loved it always was fascinated with ninjutsu always wanted to train in it uh, when i was a kid i always i figured i trained in ninjutsu i would read books and try studying those techniques and there's the stupid things but if you haven't learned by now, this is going to be more of a kind of a podcast forum talking. Just go over some things, talk about the games, times in my life. It's actually a series I want to do between all my games. Uh, for me, gaming is very therapeutic. It's like reading a book. I can remember what year I was playing the game, what I was going through at the time, uh, the time of year, so on and so forth. And I have a lot of fond memories of playing video games. Didn't really have the best upbringing, and video games were an escape for me. Even when I'm playing this with Johnny during, uh, it was probably a rough part of my life. If you've seen the video of what happened to the game dungeon, I'll post up a link in the corner. I'll put a little screenshot up there right now. And, and do me a favor, if you watch that, that was when I when I did that video. That was I had the I had the video. I wanted to put something up there. It was a, much more going on than just my divorce at the time. It was, so I, I, I put that up there, and I, as stupid as this sounds, do me a favor, watch it and like it, because I know my ex-wife had her friends 
watch it and uh, downvote it a lot because I can see the percentage. So out of all my videos, it's the one that it's the lowest. It's only like, I think, 60, 70 percent likes. But I know she did that <laughs> because people have told me. So just for my own, I just noticed that the other day. If you mind putting a like on, I'd appreciate it. But like I said, this is just a little kind of a break I want to do in the series of going over games and talking about it. Uh, this is Johnny's first time playing once again. And I was doing my best to avoid him because he, he was hitting me a lot. Not so much now, but in the later stages. I, uh, whenever I play this game, I always try to do the best I can without dying. And at one point, I think when I was fighting Damned, I was trying to do that pro technique where you hit a few times, turn your back, go back the other way, and kind of get him in a stun lock. I was doing okay a couple rounds, but I think in the end, I just ended up giving up all around. Johnny's doing pretty well. We have a lot of fun gaming. And um, I kind of wanted to focus on this a little bit differently and a little better because some of our other playthroughs, like when we play Street Fighter, I record them and I put them on here just for some content. The more the merrier, that's what I say. If this isn't your thing and you don't watch for so long, I mean, that's fine. I mean, please leave in the comments if you like this, if you don't. Different strokes, different folks, all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully you like it. If not, I understand, you know, bail out, go from there. But whenever we're doing, like, the Street Fighter fighting, it's not... I'm not putting on a show. I'm not talking to the people in the audience who might be watching. It's literally just him and me going back and forth. Because I've listened to it back, and we... Well, mostly me, I sound like him. But it's literally just a one-on-one -on -one talking to Johnny. And I don't think too... Too amusing. Same with the Bloodborne content that we did. That's another game. i got to get into that again. We myself, Ryan, love playing Bloodborne. Um, we're, we're not professionals. We're not professional. I'm not, I was a communication major in college. Uh, I was going, I wanted to go into radio broadcasting, I wanted to be the next Howard Stern, so I'm pretty good on the mic, but as for sound engineering and all that, when we recorded, and I recorded off the PlayStation as, like, streamed it as you see you can do, you know, I don't have a mixer, I'm not changing anything. I didn't realize because the views are so low on it, and I see why. I didn't realize that we didn't adjust the volume properly. Like, I figured I could record and it's fine. And I had the, the game volume on normal in the in-game settings, but apparently you can't, you gotta adjust because, my God, you could hear us talk, but the minute we hit a character or attack something, that the sound effects were so loud. I'm like, oh my God, I got that, I instantly turned it. I mean, we, we fixed it halfway through, but... If you happen to be one of the people who watch those, I am very sorry, because that was loud as hell, and we just didn't know any better. Especially, you know, it's just my fault, because, again, my laptop, I can't really record. This is being done with OBS, and it's doing the best it can. Uh, I want to get a new laptop, or at least a, a new computer something, because this is, this is like, I think, 11, 12 years old now. It's a Lenovo Yoga 2, and I love it. It does great. I might use it for building like some sort of arcade gaming things. I have all my emulators and classic games on here, but I, I really do need something because I got games on Steam that I kickstarted. I can't run. Some things just don't run smoothly. And it's 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 time. It's, it's a long time for a laptop, but I got some things going on where you know, money's going to be tight and I got so many other things that it's really more of a more of a luxury that I probably won't be able to afford. It'll take some time to see if I can, but there you go. There's Johnny kicking me. Like I said before, whenever I play this game, I try to do the best I can without dying. Like when I face Sodom, I don't. Or Sodom, I don't know, however you pronounce it. I think the pro players, they mostly worry about just like jump kicks and things. Me, I don't like doing that. I want to try to stop them on the charge or get the combo in. Because just it takes more damage. It's I, I, I probably shouldn't do that. Right now on Fightcade, I'm actually playing Final Fight, the, the Mad Gear, the 30th Anniversary Mad Gear hack, and my god, that that is hard. I mean, I love it. I've watched YouTube players, or YouTube people play it, and do pretty well. Just kind of do the special attack the whole time. I'm trying to actually fight them, but my god, that is hard, and I don't know if there is one with a continue system, but the one I play, you can't continue, so once you're dead, and, and I, I can get past the first stage, and that's pretty much it, but... I love it. It's it's 
It's a great game. I, uh, I'm trying to get Johnny to play with me now, but he doesn't have a laptop, so he can't do the fight cake thing. And as for Ryan, he, he games when he can, and he mostly games with his son. It's, it's, I always love gaming with Ryan. The three of us get together, Bloodborne. We did Elden Ring for a little bit. It's a lot of fun. Oh my God. But I wish Ryan could game with us more, but unfortunately, he can't because of his wife. and I'm not because of his wife, but family and duties and that kind of stuff I, I understand. But here we are, still going along. I can always pop in Final Fight and just play this uh, anytime, anywhere. I you know, just knock Johnny around, didn't, didn't mean to do that. The good thing about Johnny is, and if you want to follow his Instagram, he is Johnny Giant 2490 huge, huge Giants fan uh, out in California. He's an amazing artist. I don't know if you've ever seen the picture of Mega Man I have. Uh, if not, I'll show it. I'll, uh, in fact, I'll, I'll even put it up here right now. He knows Mega Man is my favorite character. And he drew me a nice nice Mega Man picture. He's a wonderful artist. He puts a lot of his stuff on Instagram and also his travels. So give him a follow. He does some cool stuff. I'm trying to get him to do more videos. Ryan will probably start sending me some more videos as well. He, If you watch my channel, he, he starts with unboxing games and things and PlayStation. It's... It's pretty funny, and I, I do a reaction. I act like I haven't seen it before, but I do. I plan it out. But Ryan is a trip. He's honestly one of the funniest guys I know with his type of humor. He's like Andrew Dice Clay. If you don't know who he is, he was one of the biggest comedians of all time. But he goes on Instagram now, and he just walks up to random people. And it's like, was it you who wanted the picture? He just goes up and trolls people, and that kind of stuff I love. It's kind of the same thing. Ryan does. There's there's other funny things I can tell and all kinds of lore, but with what he does for a living, I don't think I don't think he's able to. Or I don't think I'm able to excuse me, because I know uh, there's some things I wanted to do in the past, but couldn't allow because of that. Which I respect. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize what he does for a living. But I do have a few videos of Ryan's unboxing. I think I got one unboxing a PlayStation 4. And then he starts... I, mean, I don't want to ruin it, because it does other things, too. But it goes outside the realm of gaming. But Ryan is, uh, Ryan is one of my favorite people. All, they're all out on the California front. Ryan, Johnny, all those guys. I remember playing this part of the game, and I remember Johnny being a little... I think he said, like, holy shit or something when all these uh, Ondors drop down. This is actually one of the characters he uses for, as you've seen, playing Street Fighter 3 or Street Fighter 4. I think I got some Street Fighter 4 footage. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look. I got a few videos. Uh, one video I want to do, because I kind of like this podcast forum thing, uh, just kind of riffing over it. We tried doing a bot. Uh, attempt of a podcast a long time ago. It didn't go well. It's too many people and different ideas and things. And we had always had the one guy who is trying too hard to be funny. And he's been on, I've had him on some of my videos. It just didn't go well. But it is, I've been thinking about doing this for a while, this final fight thing, but I just didn't know how to implement it. And so finally, I did it because I wanted to get something on the channel again because I think it's been like almost a month now since that one, what was it, they had the keyboard, the 8-bit dough mechanical keyboard, I also have the Atari 200 Plus that I want to do a little breakdown and review on, uh, I know I'm behind on that, but I just put it up on Instagram, the picture of that, I'm going to leave my comments and opinions until they actually unbox it and take a look at it, because I, I, I got some opinions on it just from the manufacturer, Atari itself, but, I mean, that's a cool thing, I, I, I do enjoy it, but I, I have opinions like anything, you be a good, honest, honest review on that one, but I got motivated because a um, certain article came across on my, on my feed, and it's from, I think it's from Game Rant, Game Tech, I don't know, one of those stupid, I 
I swear to God. You know what? I, I miss the days of video game magazines. And I'm not talking about like Retro UK or whatever those ones are where it's 10 bucks a magazine. I'm not paying 10 fucking dollars for a magazine. That's goddamn ridiculous. I'm talking about the days of Game Pro and Nintendo Game Players, PlayStation Magazine, PSM, all those. Like, God, I miss those days. I miss those days so much. I got quite a collection of video game magazines. And someday I'll do a video on those, but these articles i tell you i don't know if these guys play games or whatnot they just make shit up but the article was how batman arkham origins i think seven or eight ways it's better than arkham city or the original Arkham. i'm just like are you fucking kidding me that I, like that pissed me off instantly one thing i've always wanted to do is kind of like a rant channel i don't mean like the angry video game there most over corny things like i have a lot of thoughts about capcom and how they've treated mega man and series uh, also, I had a very strong opinion on Batman Origins, Batman Arkham Origins, yeah, Batman Arkham Origins, not Origins, Origins, oh my god, that, and Batman Arkham Knight, very strong opinions, and some experiences with buying the game, and I wanted to always talk about it, but I'm not one who does research, I like to go off the cuff, no script, like this, I don't have a script for this, I'm just rambling. I don't say we're, I'm doing good. Let's let's be honest here. I'm great. But the point being is, I, I like doing a little bit of research. I mean, there's things I've seen and I can reference, but I don't go back and look through. I like more speaking from motion and just off the top of my head. I will back things up, and I think I'm going to have to a little bit for the Batman one, but that just pissed me off. Because Arkham Horror, I thought that was a shit game. I couldn't stand that game. I don't want to say too much now because I'm going to save it for the video, but... That was, I was so disappointed. I mean, the st you know, it's just, shit's so stupid. I mean, okay, I'll, like, I'll give you an example. Like, the voice of Batman. The voice of Batman's played by Kevin, Kevin Conroy. I think, it's, I think his last name is Conroy. See, I should research this. Kevin Conroy. That's his last name, but that's what I grew up on. Everyone grew up on Batman in the animated series. And one thing, I'm very, very big on continuity. It doesn't matter how bad the drawings are or the difference change in style or whatever. If he's voicing Batman, to me, I'm watching something bad. Nothing against some of the other people, like Deirdre Ketter. I think that's his name. The guy who was a funny comedian at the Dunn Drew Carey show. Jason Ackles, who loved in Supernatural. Those two guys, actually, I think they're trying to take over the Batman voiceover. Which I'm fine with since, you know, God bless his soul, Kevin passed. But... It, to me, you got to have continuity. I want to hear the same person, and that's what I like. And they didn't do that for Arkham Origins, and I thought it was stupid. And I remember reading an article somewhere, because when I get pissed, I go to the internet, and I'm like, I can't be the only one who thinks this way. Who else thinks this? Who else thinks like me? Who else can I bring into the fold that thinks like me? And I found an article where they're talking about it. It's like, oh, you know, we love Kevin's work, but for this, we wanted to, we wanted to have a younger Batman. And I think it's supposed to take place five years before Arkham... Arkham Asylum, and it's like, listen, my voice has sounded the same since since my balls dropped when I was like 11, 12, whatever year I hit puberty. I, you know, your voice doesn't change. So I, I hate when people do that. Like, oh, we want to be younger. It doesn't fucking, it doesn't sound younger. You just got a different voice actor. Your voice doesn't change like that in five years. If anything, it just sounds older. It, I mean, it's like, come on. It's like, don't, don't insult my intelligence. I mean, I know it's a stupid thing to get mad about, but I got a whole thing. That game was absolute trash and horrible and it infected into Arkham Knight and that's just I'll, I'll leave it at that because I'm already getting pissed off thinking I can't believe we gotta be angry about this shit I'm not the dumbest shit but my god if you're still hanging in I hope you're enjoying this again leave uh, leave a comment if you like this if you don't leave some comments on your opinions I really plan more on talking about Final Fight but I'm not so much doing that because like I said it's you're not going to be watching this video for any kind of gameplay tricks. It's mostly just him and I. I want to get a video out on here. One video I will be doing in the future uh, when I get a little time is I'm going to do a follow-up to the the one that actually got me my, my subscribers, what little I have. But thank you, by the way. Uh, they got my subscribers and has the most views. I think it's like 70,000, which that Emeo controller, which I can't believe I'm the only one that really did a review on it, truthfully. But every now and then, I think even recently, the past month, I get a comment on it about if it works, this and that. I know it doesn't work out of the box. I know I did put a link in one of the comments 
to get it updated and working properly, but I'm going to kind of do a email controller 2024 update and see what kind of traction I can get with that because I do have the controller. I did sell it and then I think it was like $20 I bought it again because there's something wrong with me. I got a thing for controllers. I, I collect controllers. The weirder, the better. I plan on doing a, some videos on controllers. I mean, I can do multiple videos for each system because of what I got. And the crazier, the better. And I got some pretty interesting ones. So, And I used to collect a lot of third-party for modern systems, but I cut that out because I like Hori mostly. I like the really interesting ones for like the Nintendo, Sega, any of the the previous console generations. I don't really like getting anything for like the PlayStation 3 or above. PlayStation 2 I will do. But PlayStation 3 and up I'm kinda like, eh, I really don't really don't have any any interest. Unless it's a Hori controller, truthfully. That's that's about it. I do remember playing at this point and I think it yeah, it took us a while to beat Rolento. And now we're heading off to the industrial area. Johnny doesn't know this, but those guys really, uh, they really did a lot for me. I mean, not just them, but at the time I was at a very low point in my life. I was rather depressed for many things, which is some are embarrassing, some I won't get into. I mean, funny thing was, it wasn't even so much really anything to do with my ex-wife. It was very, I was very relieved to be out of that situation. It was other things involved, I mean, stuff that I'm embarrassed about, but you get to a point where, I mean, if, if you're truly, they always say there's somebody there to help, but if you're truly depressed, I mean, you don't want to talk to anybody. You want to be left alone. They always say there's somebody here to help, which is true, but you, you don't want to talk. You don't want to do nothing. You, you just want to be left alone. I mean, people who are truly depressed, you know, get, they know that. And when you're fighting depression, I mean, sometimes you have a, a devil-may-care attitude where if you're functioning, it's... You're, you're trying to keep yourself busy and, and do a lot to to keep yourself from to keep yourself busy to not get in your own head. And I can tell you that's what I I was doing a lot, and that's why I recorded these these gameplays because uh, again I enjoy playing video games. It it really kept me sane. I'd have to force myself sometimes, but playing games with Johnny, Ryan, it it, it really it really helped me out. It kept me busy. It helped me deal with some of my things. So. They don't know that, but I am thankful for them and that. Yeah, I was in a pretty bad spot for a number of reasons, but but got through it, doing great, thriving. Things are going well. Everyone goes through those spots. It's, it happens, unfortunately, but, you know. My, I mean, like anyway, mine was pretty bad, but either way, got through it, and that's, you know, that's what you do. It's not, it's, it's not what you go through in life. It's how you handle it. No, it is what you go through in life. You know, forget I said anything. But either way, I'm thankful for those guys. This part of the game, this was always my favorite wave of the game. I always liked the multiple enemies attacking. That's really why I like the Mad Gear hack, because it's just enemy upon enemy. Uh, yeah, obviously, that's much harder, but I like the music playing. Uh, get you hyped. Kick all the kinds of ass. Enemies just keep coming. This was always my favorite stage. I had Mighty Final Fight 2 when I was a kid. I sold that a long time ago like an idiot. That game's like $1,000 now. It's freaking ridiculous. I'd like to get it back because I have a lot of fond memories of it. But it's like you can't now because it's so it's so damn expensive. It's, it's ridiculous. I sold my video game collection a long time ago in the 2000s. I was at a, I, even then, I was in a bad spot. I needed cash, and I cleaned everything out. I'm like, oh, I got emulators, da, 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 da. and I regret it, because I had, oh my god, I had everything rare. You, if it was rare, I had it. But it, it wasn't because, I didn't have it because it was rare, it was because it was a different time back then. Like, I remember being able to go in the early, mid-2000s, being able to go on eBay. I'm like, oh, you know what, I remember playing that game once, or... You know, it's an interesting game I always want. And you can just go on eBay and get whatever game you wanted for, like, 20 bucks. 20 bucks, and it, it just, oh, let me get that. And, but now, it's like, oh, well, this game's worth, this game's through the roof. It's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I had Mighty Final Fight. I don't have that. I had all the Final Fantasies for the Super Nintendo. I think I got one in three. I'd like to get two back. 
Uh, I just got Mega Man 5 at Retro Game Con. Oh, which that's another video I gotta put up. That happened in that happened in October. I gotta get that up. The videos I recorded in 8K, unfortunately, and I have to redo that. I gotta kind of get a new setup. Even with recording games, I have a Elgato that. I, I've never been able to use because my computer can't handle it. So it's like, oh man, I wasted that. I, I've, I've had it just sitting there. It's not the the new one. It's not the Elgato HD. I know it's supposed to be for high def stuff. It's not. I think the uh, Elgato 60. See, I don't even know. I I tried using it once and I was just sitting there. So hopefully I can end up using it again. But I got the retro game con. But either way, the game like I had, I had Dracula X, and I remember buying that game. I mean, let's be. It's not a good game. I only got it because it's Castlevania. One thing I never understood with Konami is they made Super Castlevania 4, which I replayed probably a year ago. On, or actually, you know, on the Castlevania collection. And my God, that game was a hell of a lot harder than I remember. I don't remember having so much trouble with it, but I never understood how they had the whip mechanic going all eight directions. And I don't know why going forward they never did that. Now, I know Dracula X was a remake or like a... Uh, a demake sort of uh, Rondo of Blood because they couldn't fit everything, but that was like that version of Rondo of Blood, and it wasn't all that good. But I remember buying it just because it was Castlevania, game. and now because of the rarity, and it's like, oh, it's so much money. It's like, it's like it's game collecting is not is not what it was, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, even at Retro Game Con with COVID and some other things I did, I I wasn't able to go. Like I've I've gone to a lot of them, maybe. Four or five. I think I've gone to a decent amount, almost all of them. They had the tenth one not too long ago. But from my previous videos, you can see I have a whole collection of stuff laid out of everything I bought. And this time, I, I didn't really buy that much. It was more I try to get quality over quantity because everything is it's just so damn expensive now. And I didn't see a lot of bargain bins like I used to. Like there was one guy who was selling games at a reasonable price, and he had bins of like. You know, I like I like the bargain bins where I see like, hey, you know, here's here's a Nintendo. Remember those clear cases you get for Nintendo games that fit the cartridge itself? They're like they'll come in like yellow, light pink. It's like the, just the game, the game clamshells, whatever you want to call them. I'd see those. Hey, you know, two for a dollar, or I'm selling individual sleeves. You know, this much. So you know, whatever. It, all those little knickknacks, weird controllers, weird accessories. I didn't see any of those this time, and when you see all the things I bought, it's it's much much less than what I used to buy, and I spent a lot more money this time. I know that for a fact, and I know with inflation and the cost of goods of everything, but I guess I wish I, I would have saw more bargain bargain bins and bargain sellers. Um, that would have been great, but you know it's a different time right now. Maybe just people don't have those things. Maybe they'll come back in the past. I do remember instruction booklets. Like I remember, I remember actually sitting next to Pat the NES Punk because he was at one of the retro game cons, and we were going through instruction booklets. And he saw before I did. I have a copy of Werewolf: The Last Warrior, and I needed the comic book for it. And son of a bitch, he found it before I. Did. I mean, like it was right there. I'm like, oh, I need that. He's like, oh, he's like, oh, I just saw it. And this, I'm like, oh, god damn it. But it was, it was, it was cool going through instruction booklets right next to Pat the NES Punk. Pat, if you're watching, big fan. But I'm, but all those instruction like everything was a dollar, everything. I got some instruction booklets this time, and now oh well this one's five dollars, this one's fifty, this one's twenty. It's like oh my god, and the one thing it's like it's, it's hard to find a deal anymore. And I think a lot of these guys can't sell their products because if you price it up too high, like I th I think one time I saw somebody with three copies of Little Samson, and that's an expensive game now too. But it's like, if you have three copies, and I see them all weekend, you're clearly not selling them. And I get it, they're worth a lot of money, but at the same time, you got to want to get product out the door. So it's like, are you really doing anything well and making money if you, you still have them at the end? I mean, oh, so, okay, so you can buy it on eBay for 1000 drop it to 900 You can. It's it's it, it boggles my mind. I think a lot of the times they're just waiting for, well, someone will buy it. But again, this I remember seeing that vendor with three copies of them, and just didn't go anywhere. This part of the game I remember, I always had trouble fighting Abigail, but I remember watching Johnny, and he was actually doing really well, just kicking his ass. I was kind of surprised. 
for a first time playthrough, he was doing so well with, with Abigail. Capcom's another one too. I couldn't, after playing Street Fighter 4, uh, I never got into 5, I wanted to. That's another rant I could go on in the Street Fighter series because my characters block him and I always seem to leave him out or disrespect him in some way. But the characters for 6, or was it 5? One of them, but they, you know, like Zangief was a giant character, T Hawk was a giant character. And then they just keep putting characters in there that are bigger and they like tower over them. Like Abigail's like a monster. And I, I remember watching videos of people playing with Abigail and it's just, you can, it, it's kind of like they're going for the OP characters. That was my opinion. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just my first impression. But my God, it's, you see him there. It's like, I, it's just everything Capcom does with their characters becomes like a caricature. Like, people are giant, and now they're really playing off this whole fact of, I guess, the Street Fighter universe and the Final Fight universe are one. I guess which makes sense, because Guy and Cody were in it, which is cool. But now they're running around Metro City, and uh, the Street Fighter City, I don't know, I just, I don't know, Cap Capcom being Capcom. I mean, I'm thinking about the Mega Man rant I want to do, and the... Uh, the Street Fighter, and it just uh, it pissed me off. Capcom, Capcom was my, my dream as a kid was to work for Capcom because I loved Capcom. To me, was well, they're, they're, I mean, they're still they're still one of the greatest game developers. I feel I think Capcom, you know, has a means quality. And in the '90s, oh my God, it's like it didn't matter what game I bought from Capcom. I knew I was going to be out. I knew it was going to be great. That logo popped up. I loved it. I was always, whatever, I loved it. It's just, I knew whatever game it was, it was going to kick ass. Same thing with the Disney games. Didn't matter what it was, I knew it was going to be good, I knew I was going to like it. That, that partnership they had with Disney, it was on point. Darkwing Duck, Mickey Mouse Capade. I uh, never played Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, but I got Little Mermaid. I haven't played it, but Dark, oh yeah, what did I say? Darkwing Duck? Oh, Chippendale? Oh my god. Those games are great. I, that's another game. I had Chippendale 2 at one point. And now that's another one that's through the uh, through the roof. I, it's just... I was a fan. I, I, love, I love the Chippendale cartoon. I like the first game. I like the, the... I used to play the second game by myself. Having two players. I would... Uh, I would be... Dale... Would be, is it, what's it, is Dale the one with the red nose? Yeah, I'd be Dale. And you could pick up the other character and you can actually use them as a weapon and I would do that I did that the whole game just to see if I can do it I would always come up with stupid shit like that to challenge myself yeah but Capcom in the 90s you could you could not go wrong I can't think of any dud by Capcom and if there is a dud I didn't play it So once again, I hope you're enjoying this. Hopefully I'm being interesting enough as is. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Right now i got a lot of free time. So I'm trying to get as much stuff out there as I can between everything else. Because I won't have the time in the future. So I'm trying to take advantage of it now. And even then I'm getting out one video a month if possible. But like I said, I hope you do enjoy this. Because I didn't want to just put a gameplay footage up there. I wanted to add a little more to it. I got some Castlevania up there too. Um, homebrews and hacks. That's one thing I've never done. I wanted to show off me actually making and do some instructions. Like I said, I had a lot of ideas um, for making reproductions and things. Uh, taking the carts. I got all the equipment to program the chips. I got tons of EPROMs. It's something I've always wanted to do, and I recorded some gameplay for the Castlevania games. And, ju and just so you know, so there's no in between. So like when I when I play the games, I know with the Castlevania ones, they're pretty much I don't say perfect. I, I do get hit, but I don't think I, I don't die. I do pretty well in the bosses. I mean, it's, I don't put it in the description, but it, it's not a perfect playthrough. I'm sure if you took the video and broke it down, you see the cuts. Those are edited. I do use save states. They're not meant to be a guide. They're not meant to be uh, a way to, like, any kind of playthrough or any kind of perfect run like that. So, I'm not saying it is one way or the other. It's just literally me playing the game. So, so yeah, just, 
I don't I don't do that. I don't do that editing or that cheating. It's literally just me putting the game up on there because I'm sure it'd be pretty easy to see that there's editing and things involved. But I just wanted to get that out there, cause especially nowadays. A lot of people cheat in video games and it's just uh, you're just playing it for the hell of it. We're almost through. I've been really talking too much about the game. But Johnny got better as we go along. I know he really liked this game. He had a lot of fun with it. And I mean, who, who can't? It's, uh, it's Final Fight. I mean, God, it's you know probably one of the best games ever made, in my opinion. And of course, if you don't know, but you should. Very common knowledge. This was going to be called Street Fighter 89. One said they went with Final Fight. I do like at the ending of Mighty Final Fight, there's a little picture of Mega Man on a billboard in the background, the, the Mega Man head. They always seem to throw him in everywhere. And that's one thing that pissed me off about the, at least the characters I loved with Capcom, like Blanca, Mega Man. Capcom, it's like they always, they thought they were funny. They were always trying to find a way to disrespect the characters. And I know that sounds stupid, because it's a video game character, but like, well, like Blanca, you know, Street Fighter Alpha 3, you know, his storyline runs with Dan. Dan's the goddamn joke character. Street Fighter 4, and they, they, for some reason they make him a child, they, they, or his, like, mentality. Street Fighter 2, he talked fine, you know, he found his mother, all that. Just because you know, it's, he's attached to his mother, it's like his mother lost him. They got, it doesn't mean he's still a child. It's, it's, like, it's like, why are they making him a child? Same thing with Mega Man. It's like, he... His last, it, it, we're not last, his name is Mega Man, not Mega Boy. I get he looks like a boy, but they're always, he, most of the time he's voiced by a woman. You know, they make him like, like a pansy. It's just, I don't know. Street Fighter 4, yeah, his nemesis was that stupid. I, I, one thing, I, Street Fighter, I couldn't stand the extra characters. I thought all those characters were stupid. Rufus was stupid. That L. Fuente, whatever his name was, stupid, and that's who Blanca's right. How can you have a rival who's never been in the goddamn game before? First appearance, and, and he's a rival. And their stupid argument is, oh, you're wearing a mask, you must be bad. And, and, uh, really? That's the best you could do? That guy that throws oil on himself, that guy was stupid. Who's the other one? Oh, and then that Sea Viper. They were pushing her so goddamn hard to be the new... I don't know why Capcom... It's like, listen, Capcom. Everyone loves Ryu and Ken. And all the classic, chung -Li, all the classic characters. In the 90s, they were doing that for the movies. You know, they were pushing Guile, some, you know, international Interpol, all that shit with Chung Lee. Pe no, people care about Ryu and Ken, okay? Just, let's just, I mean, come on. It's like, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I know Street Fighter 3, they were trying to push Alex, and that didn't go their way. Street Fighter 4, they were trying to push Sea Viper because everything was her. It's like, she was the face. It's like, when are you guys going to learn? I don't even, is she even in Street Fighter 5 or 6? I don't even know. What would be nice is the next Street Fighter game, they actually go past Street Fighter 3, because I guess in the timeline, all these games are still before Street Fighter 3. And it gets a little ridiculous. It's like, alright, let's, let's go forward a little bit. It might be a hot, it might be a hot topic, but I can't... The new Street Fighters, I can't, especially, like, I wanted to play 6, but, again, with the disrespect of Blanca, Blanca now looks like a gorilla. Yeah, he's wearing some stupid overall. It's like, he, I thought he looked cool in Street Fighter 5. It pissed me off in 5 that it took, for, it's like, one thing I never got, it's like, oh my god, see, now I'm getting pissed off about this. How can you make a game and not have all the characters that are played in it? Seriously. You know, I can go on, you know, I'm going to stop, because I can go on a rant. But I never got, I never liked downloadable characters, you had to pay for downloadable characters. I remember the reasoning is, oh, well, we have a person from Brazil. That's what people... No, it's not It's not people from Brazil. People want to play their character, you jackass. It's like, don't... Don't... Ugh, don't piss down my leg and tell me it's raining. I, I, it's like... See, I'm getting... I gotta do... I'm gonna have to do a Street Fighter one, too. But the thing with Six, I thought it was kind of ridiculous. The... I didn't like the... I didn't like the look of it, like all the effects. Like I, I like the flashiness, the effects of the Marvel vs. Capcom series, but that like paint that washes over. Th this one I'd like to know. Like to me, it distracts me. Like I feel like I can't see the hits properly, or you know, don't know how to react to certain things. It's just the paint. I just think it's a little too much. I don't. 
if you're this far, leave a comment. I'm, I'm curious what people think. That it's like that paint, and then the super moves. Even in four, it's like when I play Marvel vs. Capcom, whenever someone did a special move or one of the, one of the combo attacks, whatever, the screen stopped for a second. It had that it had that special effect, but I could tell by the I could tell by the freezing. I tell by my pixel if I was going to get hit or not. And I feel with the, the super moves, it's just a little ridiculous because they're this long, drawn-out display where the camera goes in and out. They're going 50 feet up in the air. It's, to me, it, it takes me out of the game, truthfully. And the ultra combos, I feel like, and maybe they're doing it to get mass appeal for the game. And I understand that. You want the, the most amount of people playing your game. You don't want to have it for a small, small crowd. But when... You get a combo move, like you can be beating someone's ass and it fills up their combo meter and they get to the ultra combo and you can take like a good majority of their of their life bar. To me, that just seems like it's like, well, what, it's like, well, what the hell? It's like, I, I'm doing good. This guy got me with one move. All my energy's gone. That's that's just my opinion, but tell me what you think. Because we're, we're gearing up to the end of this anyway. And I didn't talk about Final Fight as much as I liked, so... I do hope you did like this. Once again, please subscribe, like, and put in there, you know, let Johnny know. Let Johnny know you want to see more of him gaming. He actually got much better as the game went on. It was doing a lot better than I was, especially, especially me now. I'm trying to hit all the guys that are coming down. I'm trying to hit the, the arrows, and Johnny's just kind of tearing them up. I've never been a real competitive gamer. I always like playing the co-op games like Ninja Turtles or like any of the, the beat-em-ups, the fighting games. Like Left 4 Dead series, that was one of my favorite. I got really good at that. Those are the type of games I like playing. I'm not really into the like the Halo multiplayer or Call of Duty, any of that. It's just, just not for me, not my generation, I feel. I used to play Doom multiplayer and Unreal here and there. But those multiple online, I just never, like Fortnite, I never got into that. I do remember playing this and it taking a while to beat Belger. Normally I beat him a lot quicker than this. I think we were just kind of goofing around. At least I know why I was. And I like playing with two players too because depending on how the settings are, you get more guys coming out to attack. Look at that. I, I died at the last minute. <laughs> Johnny kicks him out the window and punches him. And we had some people popping in and out watching the game, which was cool. I've done that too in Fight Kate. I'll just go into a match and watch. I can't remember if I've ever beat this game in the arcades. Probably not. I used to love going to the arcades and escaping, but I know for me I'd always go, I'd pop around to the games, I'd go, oh, I play this game for, there were certain games every arcade had that I can recall in my area, and I'd go from one arcade to the another, and like, oh, let me go to this game, and I'm going to pop in and see this game, and I put a little bit of time in on every game. One game I played not too long ago, I think it's Ninja, Ninja something for the Neo Geo. I remember the gimmick of that game being really cool, you could power up your weapon, and when you beat the boss, you can choose to fight as that boss. I played that not too long ago, all the way through, and my god, there was no way in hell I was going to beat that game in the arcade. That was that game was ridiculous. That was a quarter muncher, and then some. If there, I, I might have to check YouTube to see if there's a playthrough of someone whooping that game because I don't see any way to do it. Yep, and there's the end. So this was, wow, 45 minutes. Truthfully, I haven't done any any talking like this for a long time since back in my college days when I was, you know, on the radio and doing commercials and all that kind of stuff. So this was kind of fun. I think I did pretty well with my ums and ahs and all that kind of stuff. You're supposed to avoid that. That's one thing I learned. But this was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you lasted to the end. And if you do like this, if you want to see more, please 
put it in the comments. Uh, I do like the engagement. I'll try to message you back as best as I can, but please put that in there. Tell me what you thought, what you like, what you didn't like. Constructive criticism is always good. But I did hope you enjoy this. I plan on doing some more of these. I got some other videos. I don't think I have that many as I thought. I'll try to put some together. I know I have... Well, I have all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I do. I have some videos. I have some game pickups from a long time ago I never got to. I have some visiting some game stores. So I do got a few things. But hopefully you like this. Thanks for watching. If you stuck to the end, I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.